Well, hello nail babes and welcome back to the channel where I try to eliminate your nail struggles by trying all the nail things so you don't have to. If you are new, I thank you so much for coming to the channel. Let my hands be welcoming to you. Welcome to our family. Welcome. If you are an oldie but goodie, you know good and well how much I very much love and appreciate you for even coming back to even support our little slice of the YouTube universe. So if you haven't, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button right there in the corner it's only gonna take you one minute because you know you want the information you know you want to hear all the banter and everything else that we have going on on this lovely channel so today i have something that i have to show you all so you'll be seeing how this progresses along but i have this finger right here okay we see that it is my index finger on my right hand so i'm going to try to zoom in on this a little bit to see if we can't see that i'm not sure if you can but it is a hole in my finger. If you look next to the finger next to it, you can see that the, the hypernychium back here is very much connected to the nail bed, you know, to the nail that's growing out from back here. That's the way it's supposed to look. Mine looks like that, okay? So the reason that I'm gonna show you this today is because, <sighs> yes, ladies and gentlemen, the hypernychium here at the back has separated from the doggone nail plate okay and so I'm gonna show you why that happened actually I hit this nail three months ago and the nail was probably more length out <laughs> here wise and I have never done this before in all the years that I've been wearing nails I'm gonna tell you how old I am cuz you know you don't need to know that you just know I'm young and beautiful that's all you need to know and so are you but anyway I hit this nail and when I hit this nail water on it was just painful anything just like breathing on it and I never forget like I knew I needed to take the enhancement off because it hurt so freaking bad okay it hurt so bad but when I when I was able to kind of like remove the acrylic about uh, I think it was about two or three weeks later when the sensitivity and the pain because it was extreme pain and I I have been through quite a few surgeries in my life. I am not a stranger to pain, okay? I, when I was younger, I even sat and watched a surgery happen on my leg. They only localized them in the area when they were removing some, you know, tissues in that for my leg. And I sat up when I was nine and watched the surgery, okay? And even the surgeon accidentally cut me with a scalpel. Yeah, I hollered and I screamed, but it didn't stop me from wanting to still watch the surgery, okay? So I'm a bit of a tough cookie, but this here, <laughs> I was not that tough. Nevertheless, when I took the acrylic down, I noticed that the nail plate and the nail bed has separated actually down here and like just right behind where the apex was built when I thinned down the acrylic but I knew there was no way in the world that I was about to go in with like cuticle nippers or anything to nip that part away so the only thing that I knew that I could do was um, put an enhancement over it to allow it to grow up and let's see where we are but now we see we have a hole in our finger because I knew this was coming so Without further ado, let me go ahead and speed through this as I go ahead and remove said uh, enhancement on my finger. So I am using my wonderful drills, my Cyan K38. Uh, you all have heard my theories on this on this nail file, this e-file. They are not nail drills, people. If you are using thinking that you're using nail drills, you know I'm scared for you because drills put holes in walls and in fingers. The correct terminology is an e-file. Nevertheless, let's get to filing this off. Alright, so here is the point where I'm going to stop filing this down and the reason I'm gonna stop filing this down right here is because with it with the separation I don't know what it is I'm looking for I'm actually very comfortable with filing down uh, to my natural nail plate without causing any issues but because I know that there's damage on this hand um, yeah I want to go ahead and check that oh yeah and I had cut myself ladies and gentlemen make sure you check the rotation of your nail file your e-file before you go in and drill and I didn't even check it um, for this hand I always file um, in reverse and so yeah, I didn't needed a little info lab to be able to stop the bleeding and you know cure the cut. So make sure you you uh, check the direction of your e-file, please. 
All right, the next thing I'm about to do, I'm actually gonna soak the rest of this off. No, it does not hurt. Um, I've showed you on these, these on my channel before. These are some CND nail wraps. They have a little cotton pad on the inside. Um, I'm gonna squirt some acetone in there and then I'm gonna let this soak. Normally, if I was soaking all of this off, I would squirt some acetone in here and put my put a clip on it and put my hand under a heating pad. Because it's one nail, um, the acrylic is filed pretty thin. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't think that it's gonna take more than a few minutes for this to soak off. So I'll be right back. All right, nail friends, I have went ahead and taken off all the acrylic and I'm going to show you what it is we are looking at. Now, as I told you before, I had to wait, goodness, about three months for this to grow up properly because what you're seeing here, this big looks like separation and you can clearly see there's a big huge gap between here and the you know the the the, the bottom of the nail here okay this is the top of the nail this is the bottom of the nail here you can see here that there's this big old gap okay when I turn it over and I'm just trying to make sure that my camera can focus in so that you all can can see you know what's going on here let's see uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. okay you can see that big gap down in my finger, okay? That big gap down in my finger, this is a condition called onycholysis, okay? Which is basically the separation of the nail plate from the nail bed. Typically, this happens um, when, you see, when, you, when you see this. Um, this actually occurs from trauma. And in my case, like I told you all, I banged this nail uh, because the length was like somewhere you know like out to here and I banged it on the door and of course I cut them down a whole lot but this area that you're seeing here was actually all the way down here at the cuticle at the cuticle cuticle slash hypernicium um, hypernicium area because you see here's a hyponicium back here I might have mispronounced it earlier but you know I make sure to put in anatomy chart if we have to Um, but you can see that it's clear a separation. I have to take all of this nail off. So uh, what I did do, I'm gonna back the camera up a little bit and we're gonna move our wonderful trusty nail collector out the way. Cause I'm gonna go ahead and use a little alcohol to kind of just wipe down the nail, okay? All of my tools have been uh, sanitized and disinfectant. For those of you, even if you are a do-it-yourselfer, I would highly suggest that you go ahead and take the barbicide certification course, okay? Now, it does not mean that you are a certified nail professional, but at least it will give you some idea of what you need to do in terms of certifying, I mean, to uh, disinfecting and cleansing your implements, okay? Like I said, this was not something because I overfiled my nail and that uh, this was pretty much because of trauma and me hitting my nail. So the next thing I'm about to do is try to remove this uh, nail. It's hard to try to get this um, one, you know, uh, it's hard to try to get this recorded for you all so that you can see it, but I am gonna take it off. I am gonna repair it because I'm gonna put um, a different nail. See, now you can see where the nail plate and the nail bed, like I'm actually cut a small, tiny little piece of it off because it's the, the part that's you know the non-living part that is not connected but I'm gonna go ahead and cut the rest of this off as best I can and I'll be right back all right nail friends I have cooked away the part that had you know come off the nail bed and the next thing that I am going to do is that I'm going to wipe this down with some alcohol and acetone as you see it looks pretty ugly okay pretty 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 ugly okay however I am still gonna put an overlay on this because I want to protect this and I'm gonna tell you something else that I use to help treat this is tea tree oil. Um, now I actually put my tea tree oil in a little bit of jojoba oil as a, a carrier oil, um, only because uh, jojoba oil is very similar to the sebum that our skin secretes. And so I don't really like putting um, essential oils just straight strength directly on the skin because they can for some people cause types of you know reactions and then I'm saying that I'm not saying that that would happen to me nevertheless it can it can happen to anybody so the next thing that I'm about to do is to show you how I'm gonna repair this I typically wear um, acrylic usually I keep one hand in hard gel and one hand in acrylic but I've had a few things that I've had to do for work and so I have been just I just wore acrylic because 
I'm gonna just be honest with you acrylic is to me it, it holds up a little bit better on me however um, I'm actually going to sculpt this in clear sculptor gel because I want to keep an eye on this particular nail and I do want to um, you know keep keep watching and give you an update as to what's going on with my nail so there's my nail I just cleanse it with alcohol I'm actually going to wipe a little bit of acetone over the top to help remove some of the oils and that and I know it looks pretty ugly but I am still going to go ahead and put an enhancement on it only because um, for me leaving it like this is is that's not about to work <laughs> and plus for me it would be better to put an enhancement on it for the simple fact that I want to see it continue to grow out so you have seen these in some of my nail hauls but these are just the, the competitive edge double thick nail forms um, and I'm gonna go ahead and put the tab on the back open up that part the form that fit it the best we can I don't really need to I probably could put a couple of little kitten ears in here but mm, I'm not going to I think I'm gonna be okay all right because all right so there's my nail form I'm gonna pinch that closed a little bit because I tend to wear a little bit more of a coffin taper square slice slash coffin nail okay so there's my form placement all right and so the next thing that we're about to do is go ahead let me go ahead and get my lamp i'm gonna move my dust collector out the way all right and so to repair this i am going to use some base gel from young nails this is actually the one young nails clear sculptor gel um these are the ones they're, they're the ones that actually come in these tubes but i personally just don't i mean Working from the tube is cool when you're first putting it on, but sometimes if you have too much in that left over, you know, you can you have to throw it away or whatnot. And so I personally just prefer working out of a jar. So I squeezed what was in the clear sculpture tool to this. I squeezed it into this jar. Hi. Okay. All right. So we've already cleansed it. I use alcohol to kind of cleanse off the nail, alcohol to kind of dehydrate it. Next thing I'm about to do is use some young nails protein bond. Get it open. We're going to go ahead and put some protein bond. Uh, I'm going to put it on a nail. Probably should just be really, really gentle uh, with it. I know people are probably going to have lots to say about this, but this is just how I'm going to repair this, and we're going to keep watch over this. Uh, typically, I will be putting a nail treatment on here, but unfortunately, it hasn't come in the mail yet. So, okay, so there we go. There, we got our two coats of protein bond. All right, I'm gonna let that dry for about a good 10 seconds or so. Got my mama's little church fan, so I'm just go ahead and let that dry a little bit. Okay, all right. And then the next thing I'm gonna do, um, I do have different brushes for my base and for my gel. And the reason that there is that I do that is because there are different additives that are in base that help to secure the product onto the nail that you may not find necessarily that are in the gel. So for those of you who may be experiencing maybe even some lifting issues or different things of that sort, you may want to consider having different brushes for different things because different products have different chemical structure makeups and they do different things. And I know you just think, oh, just slap the brush in and keep going. These are chemicals, okay? Ladies and gentlemen, chemicals. And you wanna make sure that you know what you're doing, okay? Know what you're doing. <laughs> so, all right, so I just took a brush, cleaned it in some alcohol. You all know that I, if you don't know, on my channel, I do like using the Simply Simmons brushes, the Filbert Simply Simmons brushes from Michaels. I get these for $2.99. Um, I usually, I've had more than a few of these over a few years. And as you see, they're very thin, they work very well. All right, so the next thing that I'm about to do, get a little base gel just to base that, let me move that over, to move to base that finger. And of course, I would get it on myself. Okay, so I am working with my non-dominant hand. All right, and so I'm going to kind of scrub the base into the nail as best as I possibly can while making sure that it is on very very smooth and yes I'm putting it over the whole thing because I want it to attach that's going to grow up some more I'm very happy that it grew up because at one point it when I re when I removed the acrylic the first time after it wasn't paying for a few weeks later it was orange and I was a little concerned about it but I already knew that it was the nail plate separating from the nail bed and I already knew like I said you see where it's grown up 
it was all the way dang near close to the cuticle area here, the uh, cuticle hypernicum, uh, hypernicum area here. All right, so you ain't gotta do all of this. I'm just trying to talk you through this process. So, all right, once I put that on, I am going to cure this for 30 seconds. I'm gonna put my hand in and out because <laughs> I do have kind of skin there and I don't wanna have that, that heat spike. So I'm usually in for one, two seconds at a time. I come out, I go back in being very, very careful at the same point in time while that's in there curing. No heat spikes, thank goodness. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and close up all of my product because even when you're sitting here and even though this is supposedly a, um, you know, this is an LED lamp, typically it doesn't, it's not supposed to cure your gels, but I've noticed that if you leave your clear gels in that open, especially under um, an LED lamp, you will notice some hardening and it, there does happen some curing in that when I've left them uh, open, maybe on the edges and that for a little bit too long. So always make sure you keep your gels in that cupboard, okay? All right, so while we're waiting on that, I'm gonna go ahead and clean off of my brush that I used for the base, just simply dipping it in some alcohol, rubbing it back and forth and making sure brushes at a point. All right, and put that up. All right, we are coming out the light, and so the next thing that we're gonna do is sculpt this nail on. Cure that for a couple of seconds. One, two. All right. All right. So we have an extension formed, and we're going to do a lot of filing to get that into play. Okay. So I'll be back after I have finished filing. Okay, now friends. So we are back, and I have crafted my extension that you see me put it on. And I kind of filed it off. Like filing off camera is good for me because it. It, 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 it takes too much for me to be able to show you exactly what I'm doing and try to stay in frame. Nevertheless, this is where I'm at. <sighs> Probably not supposed to have it even this long, but that's where I want it. And of course, I'm going to be very, very careful. So hopefully you were able to see this. What I am going to continue to do is as long because you can still see the divot here from where I cut out the nail that has separated from the nail plate before I added the extension over it. I would actually suggest you to have them a little shorter, but... I already know I didn't do it this time, nevertheless, because uh, that's where it is that I wanted it to be. But on the back side of the nail, you can see the nail next to it. This one's actually crafted out of gel because it was just easier for me to do so without, uh, you know, it was, it was just easier. That's the only reason I chose the gel. I could have definitely did it with acrylic with no problem. But you see that there's no longer a hole because I was concerned I wanted to make sure I was going to get a greeny or any type of fungus growing down in the pocket because of the separation between the two. So I am going to actually have a small jar here that has a little bit of tea tree oil and some jojoba oil in it. Just a, you know, just a small, little small, little drab container here. And then I am going to continue to just use my pipette and I'm still gonna go ahead and put it on the back because tea tree oil um, has helped in times past when I maybe had uh, an injury or maybe I drilled too far into my nail that has helped with uh, some of the healing properties because it also has some antiseptic, some natural antiseptic properties to it as well. So nevertheless, we'll keep a, a watch on it and I'll definitely give you an update, but this is where we are. Forget the little bubble here, but this is where we are found and shaped and repaired after my issue with Hepper having some uh, oncolysis, which is separation of the nail plate. So if you haven't, done so already go ahead and let, hit like and subscribe you might learn something today and you already know what it is that i'm about to say ladies and gentlemen okay i hope that you all are doing well out there and hopefully you're getting the support that you need and i have mentioned the barbicide certification so i'll make sure i put a link in the description box always check my description boxes because my description boxes has lots of information and usually has a list of all of the things that i did use in the video nevertheless if you haven't gone ahead and hit like and subscribe you know that i love you very much and you know what I'm about to say, friends? Life is too short to wear boring nails. And we're out.